Morning. I'm Joseph Williams filling in for Courtney Road and I'm meteorologist Vanessa Alonso. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th of July, Joseph. I you. can't Happy believe we're here in another summer holiday. I know we are moving through this year like nobody's business. It's going it's going really fast and it's really crazy. Oh, yeah. And I, we were just talking about it earlier. Training camp is now three weeks away. So the Chiefs will be in town in just a few weeks, everyone. The summer months are just flying by. As we're waking up on this 4th of July holiday, it's been cloudy and rainy. We're getting a little bit of a break right now here in St. Joseph, but up to our north, we are seeing a few moderate to light rain showers, but the bulk of it has now pushed off to the east of I-35, and this is just round one. We are expecting round two and round three to move in here over the next several hours as we have this storm system that's pushing through the Midwest. I'm not expecting your 4th of July holiday to be a complete washout, but at the same time, you will need to have a plan B indoor plan just in case if you have showers and thunderstorms in your area this afternoon. Right now we're waking up to low stratus cloud cover, wet roads out there on our tower camera here at the KQ2 studios looking out to the west. Temperatures for the most part 68 into Mount City, Maryville, Rockport, 72 here in St. Joe, 69 down south at KCI, 67 into Trenton, 72 in Chillicothe. 67 currently in Hiawatha, Kansas. Now, looking ahead to your 4th of July, we will have about a 40 to 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially late morning into the afternoon. Temperatures will be seasonable in the lower 80s, so at least we don't have the summer heat and the humidity to deal with. Now, in terms of severe weather, I think the stronger storms will be to our south today, but for us here, we can't rule out the chance of a strong storm with maybe some gusty winds and some small hail. Something we'll be watching and keeping you updated on. Let's look through the hour by hour forecast showing those on and off again chances late morning into the afternoon, but it should all be out of here in time for the fireworks later on this evening. More on this coming up in just a bit. Josepher.